Um, we're here, uh, I'm sorry, and we're here willing to risk arrest because, you know, we have to, we're either going to have a democracy or we're not. And so if there, right, this is an example of guys, many, you, guys, you know, there have been so a front after a front of, around um, the undermining of democracy for the majority of people in this country. And really, I mean, it's all of us, but the experience has been, or it's been experienced by many of us. And so if we don't fight, then we're going to lose it all together. This is this whole election has been a sham. They already knew back in 2008 who they were going to have as their presidential nominee. That's not a, that's not an election. That's not where the people get to choose if it's been chosen before the candidates were ever even announced. So this is just another another example of that. This closed debate where you have two candidates that have the ability to win the presidential election and are not allowed to be on the stage and be presenting them, themselves and their ideas to the communities and where every. Every major media outlet is communicating as if there's only two candidates when there really are four candidates that could win this election. Speak about the power of nonviolent civil disobedience uh, to uh, forward the cause here today. Well, there's a few things that are important as it relates to the civil non disobedience. I mean, one thing it does is it helps people to realize that they really are empowered. Because, you know, we're here, we're standing together, and the power of our numbers is experienced as being felt. So it empowers individuals in their lives even when they move out of this situation. But in this moment, it enables us to raise our voice and amplify the issue. So on one hand, we may not be able to get the debates open, but we bring attention to the fact that the debates are closed in the first place. And secondly, something amazing might happen, as sometimes that is the case, where even if not this debate, maybe the next debate, they'll be a little bit more hesitant to stop us from being able to um, you know, from being able to have a, a democratic debate process. What's your name? Yan, I'm Yane Indigo. I'm a surrogate of Jill Stein. What's happening right now? I'm being handcuffed because I'm standing up for all of our children, including your children, including the children of these men who are arresting me. Turn around and walk this way, please, miss. Thank you. Get nothing ahead.